here for another episode of Simply Sweets. We got Punk in here, hating her costume, you know, but she looks so cute me. But yeah, this is her new costume instead of being a pumpkin because this one fits her personality of being a little meanie all the time. No, just kidding. She's a sweet dog, but sometimes, I mean, she's still in the puppy phase, so it is what it is. Anyways, so for today's episode, we are going to be making a salted caramel apple tart. Um, so for today's episode, you'll need puff pastry, which you can find this at your local grocery store. It's near the ice cream section, and it's in the frozen section, obviously because of ice cream. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take half of what's in here, so it usually comes with two sheets. And you're just going to take the one sheet and you're going to thaw it to room temperature, so you'll need that. Then you'll need some brown sugar, one egg, some sea salt, which is optional. If you don't want sea salt, you can always make it without it. Um, about a cup, well, you want half a cup of caramel, but I actually found these, I'll show you the bag in a second, but I found these um, little caramels at the store that are made by Kraft. Um, a woman at my work actually told me about them but that's what I'm gonna be using instead of making caramel or some other stuff you find in the store. This stuff actually works really, really well. And then two small, either Granny Smith or Golden Delicious apples, which these ones are kind of medium. I couldn't really find any small ones. Some vanilla extract and then some lemon juice. And then you'll need a mixing bowl for your materials, a knife, one of these little apple slicer things, a cutting board, a baking tray, and some parchment paper. So yeah, we'll get started. So give me one second. Okay, so this is the bag that I was talking about. Made by Kraft, and you can get it at your local grocery store. And then I had pulled this earlier and just put it in my fridge to thaw. And then, I also forgot, you're going to need a fork because you're going to have to, um, and then you're just going to want to poke this, kind of like when you're making a pie, if you've ever made a pie, so that the heat goes through the layers and you don't get air bubbles, this prevents that. So you're gonna do this, like so. Boop, 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 boop. All right, that looks good. So then we're gonna move on to our apples. I already washed my apples. I suggest you do the same. And then instead of just cutting these up into slices, a really easy way to do it is to just do use these guys and just go like that. And then carefully try not to cut your fingers by pushing these through. I do that probably 50 million times every time I use one of these things. And we're gonna do our other one. slice these into thirds so then they make thin little slices like so and then we're just going to throw them in our bowl
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take three tablespoons of the brown sugar and put it in your bowl. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. And then two tablespoons or two teaspoons of lemon juice. And then we're just gonna mix this all together. tops of this and you want to try and keep it within um, where you scored your lines on the edges so you're gonna do that I'm sure if you were to get the smaller apples, they would probably fit like where they just all fit together nicely. But seeing as how mine are medium and they kind of overlap each other, this is just how they're going to turn out. So if you get medium apples, this is probably what it's going to look like. If you get smaller ones, they might fit better. Then I'm just going to kind of like press these down so that they fold a little bit more on each other. And then I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick because they're all sugary. And then next, we're going to take our egg and about a tablespoon of water. You can either take a brush or your fingers and just um, kind of like paint it on the dough. Ooh, pumpkin found herself a bottle and now she's being destructive. Yay! <laughs> um, but yeah, I find this to be a really, really like simple and easy recipe to throw together that's very like fancier looking. And once again, like, you know, if you went to the orchard and you have a ton of apples and you're trying to figure out something to do with them, here's a great way, you know, to get rid of them. And um, yeah, I just think it's a really nice and easy, simple recipe and I feel like Everyone should try making it. It'll make you look like, you know, a professional chef if you make it. Your friends will be like, whoa, like, you made that? That's awesome. Like, okay, so now we're going to put this in the oven at 425 for about 15 to 17 minutes. So go right in the middle and just do 16 minutes. Or until it's starting to turn golden brown. Um, I'm gonna put this in the oven now. Alright, so while that is baking, we're gonna get together our caramel. So, like I said, you'll need about half a cup. And with these little squares, like, pretty much you wanna reach, like, the cup line because it'll melt down to half a cup. And then this is a spatula, which I forgot to mention. You'll need that too, so you can mix it. 
So then we're just gonna microwave this uh, for about a minute every time. Well, we'll do a minute to begin with, and then we'll mix it, and then we'll do another minute, and then mix it, and then probably go down to like 30 seconds after that. Just depends on how hot it gets. You just don't want it to scorch or burn your cup. So we'll be doing that. that you should probably serve like immediately and not one of those things that like you wait you know until the next day or like even a few hours because like it starts to kind of the liquids from the apples start to kind of break down the puff pastry that's something you'll just have to worry about all right and now we're just gonna take our lovely caramel here we're just going to drizzle it over the test. I probably should have done this with my right hand because my left hand seems to be going all over the place. That's okay, it still looks real nice. Ooh, I shouldn't have stopped. This is optional. I personally don't really like salted caramel, but I know some people really do. So this is for those people. But like I said, you can easily make this without the salt on it, and I'm sure it tastes just as good. Boom. And that's that. So this is what it should look like. And then you can cut it however you want to. So that was today's episode. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so please uh, subscribe to my channel. And also, I created an Instagram account just recently. I know. Who? So you can uh, follow me on there or whatever you do on there, you know. I'll. Uh, Post it to something so you can find it. And yeah, that's about it. So subscribe to my channel. Once again, I know I already said that. And have a great day. Happy Halloween, everyone. Um, Have a great holiday. It's one of the best holidays out there. And yeah, have fun. Dress up. Be a fool. Be safe.